My name is Mo Adam. I'm a co-founder of BitAccess. We provide kiosks that allow people to buy and sell bitcoins, which is a new form of payment on the internet. Okay, I need you. Our initial objectives was quite simple. We want to build the best Bitcoin ATM company in the world and make Bitcoin accessible and safe for every person on the planet. The founding team of BitAccess is composed of myself, Vignesh, Ryan, and Hasib. I'm taking care of the hardware aspects. Hasib is our sales guy. Mo is our CEO, so he keeps everyone uh, working together and pulling in the same direction. And Vignesh is in charge of software. BitAccess currently operates in a number of countries, and we think of the entire ATM industry and the entire cash industry to be our competitor. And we're trying to see how much of that industry we can revolutionize and disrupt. BitAccess currently serves two different types of clients, one being end consumers, the other being operators who are typically high net worth individuals who are interested in digital currency or have heard about it in the news. That customer is evolving now to cash management companies, to financial services providers who are seeing the transformative technology. Do you see yourself being pushed out by these companies? Bitcoin is like a global currency. So some customers, they will use the Bitcoin ATM to say speculate on Bitcoin. You think the Bitcoin price is going to go up or something, you buy Bitcoins. But a lot of people use Bitcoins to transmit money across the world. The machine receives the Bitcoin, the machine spits out cash and people are able to do that instantly. You come to the machine, it's done. When we're talking about digital currency, it's a global phenomena, but to give an interface from cash to the digital economy is not as straightforward as one might think. There's a lot of engineering and design involved in that. Software is a big part of what we do. If you think about the physical security, because you have cash inside a metal box, and being a global company, having customers all over the world, the logistics become very complicated. You need to have 10 languages. You need to work in 10 time zones. And then you have to deal with 10 customs. And especially in our business, when you're shipping like a big machine, it is very challenging. But we are nimble, so we just make it happen. BitAccess is a Canadian company. The company founders met originally in Ottawa, and actually myself, Ryan, and Hasib all got into a startup incubator called Invest Ottawa. How are you this morning? I'm gonna get one of your candies as usual. We were doing a lot of things that you wouldn't see in a typical office, but Invest Ottawa is really great in allowing us to grow. I mean, they were actually building these machines outside of my office. We had a bit of a problem with the landlord with welding and doing whatnot in the offices, but that's okay. The trick is when you see a market that is that ripe, you've got to leap into it immediately. And that's what the founders of BitAccess did. After we started BitAccess, it became quite evident to me that this was a very big idea and to build very big ideas, you have to go where people build very, very big ideas. Mo kept insisting that we should get to Silicon Valley as quick as possible. And he was the one who took the initiative to apply to Y Combinator. Being accepted to Y Combinator has done uh, a lot to help us. You meet the likes of Peter Thiel, you meet Mark Zuckerberg, you meet Sam Altman, you meet Paul Graham. And since you are a YC stamp company, these people want now to work with you. When anyone joins YC, you know, there's this network of 2,000 or whatever alumni that help all of the startups. We bring in speakers to meet the startups, the partners give them a lot of advice, and so it's sort of this community um, of founders that are building companies and helping each other. And then I wanted to do like Wall Street Journal and all the things. Well, I feel like a family. They put a kind of a belief in yourself that, you know, we are the right people. It's an amazing opportunity. Good luck. For that. Yes. Yeah. I feel mentored. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme mentorship. Yeah, actually. All right. Sweet. 
Right now at Access, we're really dealing with how do we build this into a larger business than it is today. We see that there's a growing ecosystem in the Bitcoin space and we're very happy to partner with as many people as possible to grow this. We know that we alone can't define a whole new economy. We are trying to be a platform, not just a machine. We want to be taking Bitcoins to the people, making people understand, to feel that Bitcoin is legitimate. BitAccess's main challenge, I think, is proving that there's a market of consumers out there um, that want this product, you know, want to buy Bitcoins in the real world. Can you reach thousands, tens of thousands, hopefully millions of people with your machines? There's also smaller, more local challenges, right? Can they scale up this hardware run? Can they like get the ATMs out there in the field? Can they continue iterating on the software? Um, but I think you know, I'm confident that the team can do those things.